Okay, I'm doing an ice bath now, so let's fill her up. And people think that this is drastic and it's crazy. It's not. It's really not. I mean, you got to be some sort of fucking moron to think that the amount that freezing cold water lowers inflammation is unbelievable. And it helps you sleep, it helps you think better. Um, it's just, the, the benefits are just innumerable, okay? Okay, so the majority of the ice has literally just melted because the water is just so damn hot here in Thailand and I had a lot of ice in there. So I'm just gonna get in, uh, but the water's still cold enough that this ice hasn't melted yet, so it's still cold, but this comes back to just, just do what you can, do your best, okay? Okay, so yeah, it's very, it's pretty damn cold. Um, make sure you don't see anything weird here. Let me just fix that. Okay, so. <laughs> so it's pretty cold. So uh, um, it, the ice is still in here, as you can see, and it's definitely still I'm in the water. Okay, I'm gonna get under completely in a second. But this is amazing for inflammation. Okay, be safe when you do this. Um, if you're gonna do a proper ice bath, if you're in Europe, you're gonna need a tiny bit of ice, but I'm in Thailand right now and you can see the sun is just streaming in, big glass wall, so it just, basically the, the water is so warm that the ice melts um, very, very quickly. I mean, I, I put as much ice as I could get, I spent about $20 on ice, and then filled the water up slowly so the ice had a chance to, you know, keep the temperature cold. Nah, it doesn't matter, it's still cold. So, um, be safe when you do this, keep your hands and feet out of the water because your extremities don't have much fat so you can actually get circulation problems, especially if you're older or you're very skinny. If you're super skinny, I would just advise them to do this, but you can see I'm a pretty slender guy and I can do this. I'm 25 though, so I'm young, so I can take a bit of a beating. Uh, now I'm just gonna get fully into the water, make sure I'm not gonna expose anyone or myself to anyone. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do it. I tell you guys to do it, so I would never tell you to do anything that I don't do. Okay, so. So you can see me, I'm in the water right now. It's very cold. I'm not gonna put my head under, but I will get my head wet as much as I can. So now I'm starting to shake. Make sure that when you do this, you don't have a hot shower afterwards. And if you think that this is ridiculous, and why would somebody do this, you know, then first of all, don't ever tell me that you do whatever it takes to get rid of tinnitus. You lost that privilege. And second of all, we're not always supposed to be comfortable. Humans, and we're not supposed to live a life of comfort and luxury. Although marketers might tell you differently. Just take this pill and tinnitus will go away. I, trust me, I tried that, didn't work. Now, I, I was doing this in Romania. Bucharest. Now, I didn't have ice because it wasn't necessary to put ice in a bathtub in Romania, but um, okay, come on. If you, if you want to test it and really push yourself, I would suggest um, sitting in the bathtub, <laughs> sitting in the bathtub and filling it slowly with cold water, okay? That's a real test, okay? That'll, that's, if you wonder how long you should stay in the bath for, whatever bath tub you have, just sit in it. This is obviously tiny, as you can see, okay? I'm a big guy, about six foot five, but this is a Thai woman, I would say, size bathtub, because Thai people are like five feet tall, God, it's cold. Um, but how long should you stay in, right? So all you need to do, sit in the bathtub, fill it up, and sit in it while it fills up. Obviously, I'm gonna try not to expose myself once again. You put your feet out of the bathtub, Okay, because you, they might get too cold, extremities, and you can just have your hands here. And try and, you know, do the right thing. Be safe about it, but secondly, get as cold as you possibly can, okay? So I'm going to just do that right now. Ooh. Rub it all over your face. Keep your hair nice and wet for a girl. It's gonna take a bit of extra effort. Okay, but still do it. This is what athletes do. 
they take ice baths very popular with and I think it's in America the American football and our NFL NFL they um, always have ice baths whew, after the game because they just so they exert so much energy and it helps bring the lactic acid down now I talk about two different types of lactic acid lactic acid is fine when you exercise it's normal it will dissipate and go away on its own accord because it's a naturally occurring chemical lactic acidosis osis means the condition of too much lactic in your blood, which is a waste product of sugar. Um, it's what I'm saying is lactic acidosis is bad and cold water will help with that. Um, and lactic acid from when you run a lot, you can, that's basically somewhat inflammatory. Have an ice bath or a cold shower. The way that I see it is that cold baths are to cold showers are what, um, you can compare that to, sorry, um, dry fasting to water fasting. So cold baths and water fasting are on par because they're very, they're not even aggressive. That's the thing. People think, oh, it's an aggressive, aggressive system. It's an aggressive thing. It's not aggressive. What's aggressive is pharmaceutical companies um, buying out the curriculum of medical universities in order to distill in them the belief in the doctors, the belief that the only thing you need to worry about is how to cure people using drugs, synthetic drugs, so things that aren't naturally occurring. There's plenty of naturally occurring shit that'll fix you. One being fucking water. What could, it falls from the sky. What could possibly be more naturally occurring than water? Okay, so get cold, get wet. The ice is melted in here, because I'm in here now too, so it's gonna be pretty hard for the ice to stay cold. But um, as you can see, it's it's freezing. Like I don't know how to, I can possibly, I probably should've got a thermometer or something, but you can see how much ice is in there, it's melted now. I'm gonna go in again. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> but this is how serious you should be about this, okay? Okay. Kind of a weird angle there. But if you keep your feet and hands out of the water, this isn't even, I can, I'll keep my feet and hands in the water because it's not freezing, but it is bloody cold. Like this is colder. The, how cold should it be, Liam? Okay. If you ever get used to it, when you're in there, it's not cold enough. It should be like not pleasant the entire time, okay? You're not supposed to be comfortable. It's not supposed to be a pleasurable experience. Okay, so. Come oh, on. <laughs> Just laugh, you gotta laugh at it, you know? So, that's the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for the next one. One more thing that I forgot to mention, um, I think I did mention it, but just to reiterate, don't get warm after your cold bath, okay? And obviously, you keep it safe, don't be freezing or anything at hypothermia, but make sure that you, um, make sure that you don't have a warm shower after the cold bath, okay? Or you don't, you know, do some crazy exercise or push up because your muscles are gonna be tight. I always do this after the gym, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, I have to spend a lot of money on ice, but that's fine because I'm fasting all the time so I can afford to do that So it doesn't matter. So that's just a lesson for today So don't have a warm shower or sit in front of a heater afterwards You want to get that cold sort of chill when I say cold chill if you're shaking and you're like fucking freezing Obviously go go for it. Have a warm shower. That's fine, but you can't actually hurt yourself by going cold to hot too quickly um, but more importantly, you want to keep that cold running through you. And I just feel like a million bucks now. Like if you ever, if you ever can't get to sleep or you're having trouble getting up in the morning, um, have a cold bath. And you probably, depending on where, like most of the people I know I talk to, not many are based in Asia. So you're, you're in the US or in Europe or um, some people in Africa say so it's different, but you, you can just turn the tap on cold and it will be freezing. So that's great. So make sure you stay safe, don't have a warm shower afterwards. and. If you want my free ebook, click below. It's going to walk you through heaps of stuff. Um, it's a beginner's guide to getting rid of tonight. It's going to show you how to actually get to sleep, okay, without the no without using that annoying noise machine. Cool.